Welcome back, session six. Larry the Titanium Hardy. Let's get it started with my favorite of my life right now. Pray for the drip. My cousin said, this is how you do it. Let the dope money hide in the music. Can't say goodbye to the trap. Got a whole brick of wire in his wrapped. I used to stay on that bitch. Just bust her down at the wrist. Just bust her down like a zip. Now when I shoot my shot, it's a swiss. When the police tried to get me, I used to run and jump fences. Now when I'm pulling up, it's a Bentley. I became one with the mission. We like skydivers, everybody strapped. And we like good audience, cause everybody clap. Yo, bitch, like a rehab, everybody crack. Laser on the Glock, tripping, everybody zap. Let me take him back. 2007, got on my knees, looked up to heaven, and I used to pray for the drip, I used to pray for the drip, I used to pray for this shit, I used to pray for this shit, I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that just to sound like this, I used to pray for the drip, I used to pray for the drip, I used to pray for this shit, I used to pray for this shit, sat in the cell and I felt defeated, Open the Bible, I read it. The word is so cold, I need it. Cold. Suicide dogs on the guinea. I looked in the eyes of a demon. Martin Luther think I'm dreaming. Go Freddy Krueger, go chopper singing. Back and forth with the rest like some demon. Ran for the time like this. Okay, okay, okay. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? I've been away for a few weeks. Been going through a few little personal things, you know? That's life. Today I'm talking about. Super Bowl. A few other little life lessons, the stuff I've been going through. Kids, family, old friends. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. Work, retirement. Just a little stuff been on my mind. Forgiveness also. Definitely forgiveness. And pretty much meeting people where they at. Don't expect people. One thing I have learned, don't expect people to, for the most part, treat you like you want to be treated. Okay. Become one with that, probably be okay. But first thing is Super Bowl. This probably the fucking first Super Bowl that I won't watch. After I from my part time, I'm gonna eat something for my wife. She's gonna make me a nice dinner. Do a little food knickknacks. I'm gonna watch Netflix. I might take a pill, a sleeping pill, and go to fucking sleep. I'm not watching the Super Bowl. That's a bunch of bullshit. Both both of those teams possibly sh yeah, shouldn't be in there. Saints definitely should be in. New England, ah, it seems as though every fucking call go they way. Is the lead looking out for them? Cause that goddamn these these penalties they called on Tom Brady. I'm like, man, what we playing Pee Wee football here? So oh, I just can't see myself watching Super Bowl tonight. Other things, just life in general. Tell my kids that things will happen to you. Our kids live a privileged life these days. They really do. They go through a little adversity. You have to come through it. Shows you what type of uh, man you are. You're going to experience shit in life. No one goes through life. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how poor you are. How moderate you are. Someone like me. You're going to go through some bullshit. And it's going to come as the least opportune time. When you don't want it to. You don't want to deal with it. But it is. It's life. It's the devil. Some people think it is the fucking devil. You know, me, I'm going to go with one word. Choices. You can call it the devil. Divine affinity. I don't know. Me, myself, I go choices. Choices you make are going to pretty much set you up for things that is either going to be good or bad. It's gonna be good or bad. You gotta take this shit. 
gotta take it. You can't be, you know, saying you want to kill yourself and these things. You have to deal with it. You gotta deal with your consequences. You know, you gotta deal with your consequences. Period. You know, so it is what it is. Forgiveness. Hmm. I've been having situations the last three, or four years with family, friends. Get real pissed off about certain things. But it is what it is, though. Are you going to stay angry all your life? No. Are you going to get an apology from that person? <laughs> People don't believe in the power of apology. It's coming from your heart. They just rather let it go. Apologies do a lot for the heart. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people won't do it. It relieves the heart of pain. Something my mother definitely taught me. You wrong somebody, you fucking apologize to me. But not only apologize, you give them a heartfelt apology. Do they feel it in their heart? And it relieves their pain. If you never give that to them, it's going to always be in the back of their head. <laughs> yes. You got to come forward with people sometimes. But if you don't, if they don't, there's some shit you just got to live with with that person. Can you ever get over it? <laughs> no. Can you forgive? Yes. We ever get over it as a human being? Hmm. Can't. Live in witness. When people don't apologize. Shit is all fucked up. It's gonna be always fucked up when they don't when they don't accept their shit. It's gonna be always fucked up. Always. This shit not gonna be it's not gonna move forward. Can never get closure. You might have to deal with the shit because of who that person is. Could be a supervisor. Could be your kids, family, nieces, nephews, brother, sister, you know, close friends, not so close friends. It is what it is. It is what it is. So me embarking on my under seven months left to retirement. I'm in the mode now. Just trying to help my family. But I mainly get myself together when I leave. What I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. So Anti-climatic. Anti That's where the phrase, the phase I am now. Should I be happy? Hmm. I am. You would think you feel a little bit more happy leaving your job and after th almost 27 or 27 years. Give to him. But it is what it is. Life is not meant to be fair. It's just not. Everybody want pure happiness all the time. Pure happiness, pure happiness, pure happiness. If we don't, don't get it, they don't get it, it becomes a problem. Go back to baby, the baby ways and pouting. Amazing. Amazing. But I decided I can't argue no more with it. I'm trying to make a person be who they are. I got my own motherfucking faults. I definitely do. But one thing, the quality I have on me is treating people good. And if I do something wrong to them, which I very seldom do, I'm going to make them feel good about me. I'm going to cream their egos. Make a meals, apologize to them. That's who I am. Some people you can't make happy though. You know, some people's just not gonna fucking like you. No matter how good you are, he's just not gonna like your ass. They just not. Some people need to come to grips with that shit. Well, 
this is it. Hope they won't be too long. If I make another session, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think this might be session six. We call this one life changes, midlife crisis, accepted responsibility, things of this nature. I'm out. This is 2 February 2019. Th excuse me. 3 February. Eight more days to my 51st birthday. I make it through half of a century. Plus one. Not bad. Not bad. Hm. I'm out. About a little bit more to go out with. Gotta pick a bone to seek, don't keep it. Star phone, double up tricks. Yeah. Eat it up, we're gonna in the fish. Trip out the licks, trip out the sticks. Yeah. Billy Ben Tigger, big body kicks. Put it on the ground, we won't flop. 25 dots on the boat up. Don't try to say, I hope not. Hope not. You won't have a tail when your toes out. I think I, I feel bad, no clout. Leave it in the pad, that's the old route. Let me give you trap, bring your whole wild. Trip another coke, I pray for the drip. Pray for the drip. I used to pray for the drip. I did. I used to pray for this shit. I used to pray for this shit. I used to pray for times like this around like this.